He's a striker who is hoping to inspire the next Rangers generation, and not just on the pitch. Chris Boyd visited Rangers soccer schools, which give a skillful education to 5 to 14 year olds, a resource he would have loved in his day. When you look back over how it's changed over the years and that, it's, it's, it's dramatically uh, changed. And, and the thing about it is, you know, I think for the kids, it's it's so much better now. Um, you know, there's organisation, there's, there's things they can come to. They've always been there, but I think you had to travel a long distance now. But I think, you know, that Rangers have got it set up. There's a few camps going on and, you know, as, as so as the other clubs. Um, so, you know, everybody's trying to bring the community together. And, and as I said, it's it, it gets them in a, a good frame of mind for training. And, uh, you know, it gets them away from mum and dad during the holidays. After netting 22 goals for Kilmarnock last season, Boyd has found it tough going in the Championship. He has found himself struggling for starts since Stuart McCall's arrival, but he's determined to dig out a chance. Hopefully, as I said, over the next couple of weeks I can get myself back in and, and, and start scoring goals again. Um, you know, I feel as if that's off said all season is start scoring goals, so it's um, it's been a, a pretty up and down um, season in terms of results and that as well. But you know, from my own performance, I know it's not been good enough. I think when you get yourself back in the mindset that you can do it, you can score goals. Um, you know, I've always said that once it, once a, um, it stops going in and training and things like that, then you've got a major problem. As I said, that's not been the case. You know, I'm still scoring goals regular in training and, and things like that as well. So for me, it's a, it's a matter of awaiting your time and hopefully you can get back in the, the team um, soon. At 31 years old, Boyd is starting to look forward. He's hoping to strike it lucky when it comes to securing himself a UEFA Pro licence and he loves the thought of being on the sidelines for the right reasons. It's obviously something that's, that's in the back of your mind that you want to, um, once you're finished, have to enjoy it, enjoy working with the kids, you know, getting as much experience as you can. But for me, the main aim's playing. You know, I still feel as if I've got two or three years left in me yet. I want to, I want to do that. Yeah, it's good to, to have, um, you know, your backup and things like that as well. But, you know, I think it's also good to do it when you're in the game rather than waiting until you're finished and then try to play catch-up. Um, you know, I've been fortunate enough that I've managed to, to get through the courses that I have so far. Um, but there's nothing, the, the key thing's experience for it. But for me, as I said, it's, it's you do it now, it's at the back of your, it's at the back of your mind. Um, the main thing's playing and, and, and for me, it's getting back in the team.